When Brandi Passante made her debut on Storage Wars, no one could have predicted an a and &E reality show about people battling over the contents of storage lockers would be so entertaining. She quickly became a fan favorite, but how much do the show's fans really know about her? Brandi Passante and Jared Schultz came to the attention of Storage Wars producers through their Now and Then secondhand store in California's Orange County, which they stocked with items obtained from abandoned storage locker auctions. During one such event, Schultz was approached by producers of what would become Storage Wars. After hearing nothing for eight months, Schultz received a call from producers asking if they could shoot footage in the couple's store. As it happened, Passante was manning the cash register that day. Schultz told the Orange County Register, "...they asked me, who's the girl up front? Would she mind being on TV? In an interview with the Celine Courier, Passante shared, "...they asked if we wanted to be on camera for a few minutes. We really didn't think it would go anywhere, but it became a big deal." The rest is Storage Wars history. Passante told The Register, "...it's a blessing and a curse. Sometimes you just want to go to the grocery store and pick up some milk." While Brandi Passante was becoming a celebrity, she continued to run a thrift shop with Jared Schultz. Filming together on the show, plus working side-by-side -side at the store, the couple quickly realized that some boundaries needed to be set. She told Filipino entertainment site PEP, "...we figured out a balance because we're together 24-7. You cannot bring your work life into your home life, so whatever conflict we ever had during the day, we let it go when we come home." Schultz backed her up, "...you really have to separate the drama that happens at the auction from the life that you have once you walk in the house." Brandy is not one to keep her feelings to herself, and that's one of the key reasons why she became a fan favorite. The bluntness held true when she was asked to share her opinion of Dave Hester, whose belligerent demeanor and yup catchphrase made him the show's primary villain. Yeah. When Inquirer.net asked Passante if Hester was, quote, a real jerk, she did not mince words, saying, quote, yes. Schultz then seemed to reject the allegations Hester made in the infamous lawsuit he filed against the show that what viewers were seeing on Storage Wars had all been staged and their dialogue scripted. Schultz retorted, "...nobody tells us what to say. If it appears as if Dave is getting on my nerves, it's because Dave is getting on my nerves." As anyone who's ever watched Storage Wars knows, the beating heart at the core of the show is the friction and competition between the show's stars during bidding for a storage locker. While they don't seem to be bitter enemies on the show, the Storage Wars cast don't seem like besties either. So what's really going on? Brandi Passante put it simply when speaking to the Celine Courier, "...we're not buddies, we don't go hang out afterwards." However, that doesn't apply to every person in the Storage Wars cast. Passante told Inquirer.net about show star Barry Weiss, or the Collector. We like Barry. We keep in touch. We see him a few times a year. We hang out. During a 2017 interview with the Mystery Men Show podcast, Passante and Schultz were asked to single out the weirdest thing they've ever found within a locker. According to Schultz, the couple opened up one locker and found five locked wooden boxes. Passante explained, "...so we unlock them, and there's some form of powder in Ziploc bags." Schultz finished the thought, saying, quote, "...I'm thinking cocaine off the bat." Passante came to a different conclusion, saying, "...and I'm holding it, I'm looking at it, and I was like, what is this? And I realized that there's a dog tag on one of the boxes." I was like, oh my god, they're dogs. They're dead dogs. They're ashes from their dogs. Oh my god, they're dogs! Ew! And oh. She added, first I was grossed out, then I felt really guilty, so we sent them up front so the owners of the locker's contents could come and pick up their dogs. Fans were shocked when Brandy and Jared exited Storage Wars in 2014, with their absence from the show resulting in a big void for viewers accustomed to the couple's hilarious banter and joke-filled bickering. However, there was a good reason. Passante and Schultz had begun a new project, a Storage Wars spin-off titled Brandy and Jared Married to the Job. The new show took everything fans loved about the pair's unique dynamic and put it front and center. An a and &E press release said it best. After 15 years together, Brandy and Jared finally decide to tie the knot and they approach wedding planning in a way that only they could, with a little love, a lot of bickering, and constant detours along the way. In the fall of 2012, Brandy Passante's world was rocked when revealing photos and a video of a woman who appeared to be her showed up on an adult website. The footage in question, however, was fake. As a television personality and mother of two, Passante was understandably mortified. She retaliated by launching a $2.5 million lawsuit against the site's owner, Hunter Moore. As reported by The Wrap, her lawsuit declared, "...Passante looked at the referenced website and was horrified, hurt and ashamed to see images of someone portraying her 
were in video and associated images. Passante never made any such video, has never had any contact with Mr. Moore, and did not send him sexual images. The lawsuit went on to state, Moore fabricated the video for the purpose of trading on Passante's fame and celebrity to draw traffic to his site. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Passante won her lawsuit the following year. Her court victory turned out to be hollow when the judge awarded her not $2.5 million, but a mere $750, declaring her request was not justifiable. Being together at their shop, being together while filming Storage Wars, being together while raising their kids. That was a lot of togetherness for Brandy Passante and Jared Schultz. In fact, Passante admitted that being in each other's faces constantly did put a strain on their relationship at first. She told California's Time Standard, "...working together as a couple every day is quite an obstacle to overcome. We're together 24 hours a day, seven days a week, trying to make business decisions together." She told Los Angeles' Power 106's Big Boy in 2013, "...we had a uh, some rock star fights in the beginning, you know, mm. just being together 24-7, it's, uh, it's a little tough. It's trying." However, her significant other tried to see the bright side of their constant togetherness, joking, "...but you mm. always get to take the carpool lane." Brandy Passante shares two children, a son and a daughter, with Jared Schultz. Asked by Inquirer.net if they wanted their kids to follow their career path, the couple did not waffle. Passante was direct, saying, quote, "...Lord, I hope not." Schultz insisted, "...our kids will not be in the buying storage units business." Schultz added that their son, Cameron, wants to be a director one day. He noted, "...I told him it's a tough industry, but you need to make your own path. Don't follow in my footsteps." Brandy Passante is like many working moms who juggle their careers alongside family responsibilities. In an interview with MyLifetime.com, Passante was asked if she experienced mom guilt, but she insisted that her experience as a working mother actually proved to be the opposite, saying, quote, "...I think I'm a better parent because I work." Noting that she found being a stay-at-home mother to be difficult, she explained that she felt, quote, "...alienated and depressed without a career." Asked about her secret to balancing all her varying obligations, she replied, if there's a formula, I haven't figured it out yet. On the plus side, though, she revealed that the money from Storage Wars allowed them to hire some additional help with the kids. She said, "...I work all the time, so I need someone to assist with the day-to-day -day stuff, but I do try to make time for the kids. In fact, we are going to Universal Studios in a few days. Oh, also, I rely heavily on caffeine to make it through the day." Brandy and Jared, married to the job, didn't turn out to be the hit that Brandy Passante and Jared Schultz had hoped for, and A&E canceled the show after its first season. Still, the Storage Wars spinoff gave viewers some extra insight into the couple's relationship. As Schultz told the Orange County Register, what viewers saw wasn't an act. He joked, quote, "...it makes our dysfunction seem a little less dysfunctional." While cynics might accuse the show of scripting dialogue for the couple to pass off as their own, Passante insisted that was not the case. In fact, she pointed out that this would actually make the the whole process significantly more difficult, as neither she nor Schultz are actors who've been trained to memorize lines. Brandy put it best, "...I feel like that is something that would never work. You just have to let it come out naturally." Viewers might not realize that, in addition to her role on Storage Wars, Brandy Passante has also used her unexpected fame for charity. This was the case in October 2019 when she volunteered to MC a charity event for Women's Own Worth, which raised $100,000 for the Arkansas-based organization which, according to their mission statement, is devoted to, quote, "...empowering victims of domestic violence and survivors of violent crime through supportive, self-worth opportunities." Passante told The Celine Courier, "...I have experienced some things in my life, and it's a really wonderful cause. It's things that are needed, so I wanted to help in any way possible." According to Celebrity Net Worth, Storage Wars has been very good for Brandy Passante's bank account, with the site estimating her net worth to be about $2 million. Passante certainly didn't have that much money back in 2013 when MyLifetime.com asked Passante if she was a millionaire. She replied, quote, "...not hardly." However, Jared Schultz admitted that their television fame has definitely brought the couple some perks. He told the Orange County Register, "...our style of living has definitely gone up. We'll go to a restaurant and the chef will send us out something special." However, Passante admitted she has mixed feelings about fame. She told MyLifetime.com, "...this may come as a surprise to some people, but I'm actually a very shy person. I even get anxiety when I have to go out to the store or to the gas station because I'm afraid of people approaching me. I was even shy as a child." 
In fall 2019, rumors began to emerge that Brandy Passante and Jared Schultz had split up, after her Instagram followers began to realize her posts hadn't recently featured Jared. In fact, as of this video, the last time the two were shown together on social media was a throwback party from March 2019. While Schultz had been absent from Passante's social media, she has shared several photos of herself accompanied by a mystery man. Her sharp-eyed Instagram followers have noticed, taking to the comments section to share their concerns. Where's Jared? Asked one fan. A second added, quote, "...haven't seen your husband lately on your post. Is everything okay?" Another of her followers put it right out there, asking, quote, "...are you and Jared all done?" For the time being, the answer to that question is unclear, though Schultz has also been posting images on his social media of himself with another woman. Still, nothing has been officially revealed as neither Passante nor Schultz have responded to numerous social media questions about their romance. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more List videos about your favorite reality show stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.